Working for a man they say has robbed three different Culver's restaurants in the last three weeks. And the suspect has gotten away with some cash. Fox 6 is Ashley Sears is live and explains he's left behind some important evidence. That's right, his face and his Jeep have been caught on surveillance. Earlier this week, the man robbed this Mequon Culver's. Police say the same guy hit up a Culver's in Lake Mills and in Janesville. There might not be a more popular place in Wisconsin to fill a craving. But lately, Culver's has attracted one man for all the wrong reasons. I don't know why they pick Culver's uh, specifically. In the last three weeks, three Culver's have been the targets of a robber. Nobody was injured in our incident. Uh, there was some money that was handed over to the suspect. Uh, it was undisclosed. The first robbery happening in Lake Mills on September 26th. Investigators say he pulled up to the drive through but he didn't want a burger. He said he had a gun and demanded cash. He got away with money, but his face was captured clearly on surveillance. Police believe that same man held up a Culver's in Janesville on October 6th and a restaurant in Mequon on the 10th. The driver captured there in the same maroon Jeep with no clear license plate. Based on the descriptions and the information we had available at that time, we believe that they're related and, and the same suspect is doing all of these. No one was hurt, but the situations have been scary. A lot of the employees at these locations are, are younger. Um, they may be teenagers and um, we don't want teenagers, we don't want anyone to, but particularly teenagers to be um, subjected to, to these types of incidents. Police hoping his next order ends with an arrest. Now, a Culver's spokesman says safety is a top priority and they are cooperating with the investigation. If you recognize that man in the surveillance, police want to hear from you. Reporting live in Mequon, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. Hopefully they find that man. Ashley, thank you.